Hey guys, this is Jabe, and welcome back to another episode of Lagoon for the Super Nintendo. So we just saved the princess from that crazy mirror. We're gonna dive right on into that broken mirror, hopefully not get cut by shards of broken glass, and put a stop to Zara. So what is behind this mirror? Eh, more castle, but oh my god, look at the size of that knight. It's like, and he has such a tiny little knife. They're not very hard to kill. They actually give excellent experience at this point in the game. Ah, you. Alright. So, let's see. If I remember... We need to go around this way. And we can find, actually, a useful item in here. Pretty sure I go the right way. Look at that. They have, like, full hit point bars. But they're pretty slow. Pretty easy to kill. Ah, you. Pretty intimidating looking, though. Alright, we got the final armor upgrade. Moon armor. And I will definitely be equipping this. If I can remember what buttons do what. Our final boost to defense. Pretty cool looking armor. Nice little golden glow with a red cape. I like it. I do like the uh, kite shield, that looks pretty cool. Alright. So we actually have one more ring to pick up, which we will uh, very soon. But first, let's do a little a little story progression, shall we? And not that way. Out of my way. Ex excuse me. Excuse me. Oh my god. Alright, you win. I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> And maybe it is down this corridor. I swear it's down one of these corridors. Here it is, right here. See, I know where I'm going. And at the end of this hallway is a boss battle, actually. Alright. So, let's see, what level am I on? 31? Uh... I'm probably going to want a couple more levels, just in case, so I will be right back. Okay, so I gained a couple levels. I am up to level 33 now. I'm going to go ahead and save. So this is going to be interesting. He's, this is also another, it can be a difficult boss fight. Cheap stuff can and might happen. So we're going to go ahead and give it our best shot. I'm going to save again for good luck. And we will be fighting Battler. If you remember, he actually took uh, Thor away with him. So this guy is a teleporter. Shoots fireballs. But he's actually not the hard part. The hard part is he's going to summon two demons to help him. And those things are probably going to kick my ass. So I'm just going to focus on him. And I'm going to equip my ring of protection. Because those demons will just shred me. And I just gotta hope that I get lucky and can kill Battler. Die, 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 die! Come on! Yes! He gets really hard on low health. But, whew, that's lucky. Usually it takes me a couple tries to kill him. Alright. And now we just head through this door. And look at that. We are on a strange balcony. Go ahead and save once more. And of course we need to jump to this tiny island somehow. <laughs> That's a weird jumping in this game. What do we have here? An old caretaker? So we have found the secret place. Well, kind of. There's an entrance to go back to the castle. Alright. I probably won't be going back. This is a one-way trip if I cannot defeat the main villain. So the secret place is actually over here. In this nondescript looking stairwell. And we have our re re the return of this music from the gold cave. Which I thought was pretty cool. 
So now we are looking for Zera. We've got a few new enemies, these knights, which are, again, no problem. And let's see. No, I don't want to go through there. I think I go south. Again, more knights. They do provide excellent, excellent experience. So I will probably be, probably be killing them to gain my final level ups. And then we have these very fast demons. And they actually pack quite a punch. Ow. So I'm go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and look for let's see, where is my final ring? I think I keep going this way. And then through one more of these side doorway things. Oh crap, get away from me. They're so quick. Alright, screw you. I know it's here somewhere. The time ring. The ultimate ring in the game. And it sucks. Because you only can use it for this one level. <laughs> but I'll go ahead and equip it just to show it off. As you might expect, it freezes time. Look at that. Kind of cool. I'll probably abuse the hell out of it just to make my way to the boss. The final boss, actually. Kill these guys off, because why the hell not? They are helpless. That is one pow powerful ring, though, if it can freeze time. Get some easy experience. So I'm going to make my way around and eventually head back to the northwest. I think I need to go this way. No, not yet. And that is where the final boss battle lies. It's a pretty short uh, action RPG game. Well, by my standards. There is a fair bit of gr uh, grinding involved, but eh. It's not too bad. I'm going to kill you because you guys are very easy to kill. Here it is, guys. The home stretch. The champion of light. Saving Lakeland. From evil. Oh, yeah. Ow. Hell out of my way. There it is, guys. The final boss lies beyond that door. So, I'm going to gain one more level because level 65 is, or 65, level 35 is the max level you can gain. And I'll be right back. Alrighty, so we're maxed out at 35. Max HP, max MP, that's as high as we're going to go. And look at that beautiful, beautiful full life bar. I'm definitely going to save. Alright, so this is going to be interesting. But I think we can do it. We're not going to fight one boss. We're not going to fight two bosses. Well, you'll find out. <laughs> so we have the demon. This is the first form. He's not too bad. Well, usually. You gotta keep slashing away until he closes all of his eyes. Pretty easy, right? And then he transforms into this demon. Which, he can whip you and he can lock you in a corner, so be very careful. Okay, I got one hit on him. I'm going to be abusing my cure ring in this fight. It kind of sucks that you can't use magic in boss encounters, but by now I'm used to it, so... Oh, look at that awesome ring at work. Die, die, die. Die. Come on, two hits. Two more hits. Okay, I don't want to be greedy here. Aha. It's a pain in the ass to hit. Come on. One more hit, one more hit. There we go. So that was the dreaded demon. That was resurrected. Not much of a fight. Uh-oh. We have a third boss. Go ahead and save my MP. Thank God that my HP and MP automatically refill after you kill a boss. Alright. And of course you can't save. So here we go. It is Thor and Zera. 
Uh, he was actually pretty easy. Ah, crap. Oh, great. So it was our fault all along? Not if I have anything to say about it. But first, I have to go through you, apparently. So bring it on, Zara. You killed Matthias? Time to pay back. Ah! <laughs> Okay, so that wasn't really a boss. It was kind of like a mini-boss. Hell, he didn't even get a life bar. Well, I'll just have to take out Thor then. Okay, so we have another boss fight. Now we fight Thor. And Thor is annoying as hell to fight, as you'll see why in a second. It looks like it. So he has this very stupid shield that pushes you away. Ow, 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 ow. He doesn't do a lot of damage, at least. And you can't jump over it. And he also he does that energy move. So I'm going to line up so I can hit him with my right, with, like, at this point. And I'm going to try to time it to run in between those. See if I can pull it off. This is a very annoying fight. Come on. Get through there. Come on! You can actually hit him easier from behind if you go behind him, because the, these energy balls will knock you into the wall. But you do not want to do that, trust me. Come on! Okay, this is really annoying. Okay, I gotta equip that stupid ring. He's actually kicking my ass. I can't even get close to him. This is definitely one of my least favorite fights of the whole game. It's just so frustrating. Come on. Come on, fight me like a man. Damn it. Okay, there we go. Ah. Okay, I don't want to I don't want to waste my uh, my MP. Damn it. Oh, the wrong menu. Okay. We got this. Hopefully I can one-shot this. Ah, damn it! Stop pushing me! Die, die! Oh crap, run away, run away! He transforms into this badass pigeon phoenix thing. And this thing will murder you. If you're in the top of the screen, when he uh, morphs into the phoenix, you are you are dead. There's no, there's no chance. So that is why I like to hang out down here. So the easiest way to take this bastard down, so you don't get hit by his energy lasers, because he does a lot of damage, is to stand right at the end of his uh, swooping path, and every time he comes over, just jump and swing. And that is probably the easiest way to take this guy out. I'm gonna unequip my ring so I don't burn any more MP. But I think we got this. Ah, oh, crap. Come on, Thor. Just lay down and die. I don't know why the hell you're a weird phoenix. Pigeon Phoenix. I still have plenty of healing items in case this goes out of control. I'm no almost out of MP. Which is a little concerning. Come on, one more hit. We got this. Okay, one more hit now. <laughs> oh crap, oh crap. Yes! And with that, Thor has been defeated. A pain in the ass he is. But the game's not over yet. Oh no. Thor! Buddy! Well, at least he snapped out of it. You're, you're kind of dying. <laughs> Well, it, 
there, there have been worse, I guess. Well, siblings fight all the time. All right? <laughs> No, Thor! Don't die on me! The hell? Oh, of course, a miracle. I love convenient miracles. So Thor is now in the pendant. Wrap your head around that one. So we have one final fight. The rematch with the evil spirit. You can do it! Oh, quit whining. We got our brother Thor with us. Technically. Sweet. Got his pendant again. Alright. Final battle. Final fight. I'm definitely going to want to equip my life orb. Because there is a chance that as soon as I step out that door, I'm going to get insta-ganked and die. And that is no fun. So here we go, guys. Final fight against the demon himself. And oh yeah, we get the cool music. Dodge, dodge, dodge! Oh crap. Okay, so he is much like earlier, except now he can teleport like a bastard. So I'm gonna hopefully kill him off. Let's, let's see what I can do. Oh crap, I'm getting stuck. I'm just gonna abuse the hell out of this healing ring. I love this music though. Run away, run away. Get him! Do, do, do. Come on, demon. You're going down. Couple more hits. Yes! And I believe that is the god speaking. Hey, you damn well better apologize. Huh. Well, at least you're sorry. <laughs> I kind of like how he's just kind of ordering us around. I mean, what the hell? That's kind of a weird sentence. But there we go. We have beaten Lagoon. And, well, that's it. We are treated to a bit of an ending cutscene. As the castle, thankfully, sinks back to the planet. Where it once was. as we remember Thor. Fun little game. And his two different colored eyes. But he will be with us forever. I'm assuming. Well, isn't that sweet? Not bad for a early 90s Super Nintendo game ending. I've definitely seen worse. The end. Alright, well... That's it, guys. That has been Lagoon. There's no actual credits 
for some reason. But, it was a fun little game. I had fun. Hope you guys enjoyed. I, uh, the combat's janky as hell, but I still think it's worth a playthrough. So, I hope you will join me on my next LP. And until next time, take care, guys. Later.